Coho just woke up. His tongue is sticking out. <laughs> Why are you sticking your tongue out at me? Mason's snuggling too. They're in a deep nap. Maybe he's just not awake yet. Why's your tongue sticking out? Hmm. What's this? What's this? <laughs> You're cracking me up. Hey, what's this? Is your tongue like dry and stuck to the roof of your mouth? That happens to me in the winter. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're purring, aren't ya? <laughs> yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> I'm not picking on you. I just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah? Cats will do that, or animals will do that if they're having trouble breathing. But I think in his case, he was just totally asleep. His tongue seems to work just fine. As Mason is happy to see. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful Christmassy type of day outside. The sun is shining and the tree is beautiful thanks to Karen's decorating capabilities. And it's hard to determine which cat belongs to which body. Who is who in the cat world? Yeah, they were sleeping ever so silently and then I come up and bother them. I don't think they mind. I just came over to get myself a little coffee at the new coffee station Karen made. And she had a friend of ours make, put that together with some old barn wood and an old uh, chalkboard that we had. That chalkboard's been in our family and part of our daycare for something like 20 years. So maybe not that long, but it's been there for a very long time. It's had graduations and birthdays of all of our girls written on it. So it's, uh, it was bigger, but it broke when it was outside. And now it's part of our family on the inside, right by the coffee station. And you're going to make sure your brother is totally clean, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Chew those nits off his face. Well, they don't have any nits. Gross. But dandruff, yeah. Possibly. Maybe pieces of food. Because they've been getting into our food lately. The cats have knocked down our summer sausage the other night and fed a cheese. And then they fed themselves and Sadie helped them. And when I got up in the middle of the night to figure out why Sadie was making erping sounds, she smelled like salami. So she was guilty right off the bat. But they all participated together in this midnight event. That'll teach me to leave food out on a Saturday night. Oh, glad I'm not a cat. <laughs> I wouldn't lick my brother's ears. You're a good boy though, aren't you? Yeah. I really can't tell which cat belongs to which body. It's just a pile of kitties sitting there on our living room couch. Christmas tree. I'm in the Christmas spirit. Are you guys? Tell me your favorite Christmas memory. Mine is uh, how I felt when I saw Christmas lights put on the Christmas tree as a kid. I felt like that was extra special, magical uh, feeling of the Christmas spirit and family togetherness. So that that's my favorite memory. Favorite memory is just hanging out by the tree with the fam, with my family when I was a little boy. Now I make the cat's favorite Christmas memory is finding presents that are edible. <laughs> that happens every year. Yeah. Mason, you're getting a good workout there. You're getting a good cleaning by your brother. Yeah, these two used to not hang out together so much because Coho is all kitten. But Mason is their best of buddies now. Just like you guys said they would be. Thanks for watching Frosty Life. I hope your Christmas preparations are going well. Don't let the season stress you out. It's all about love. It's about togetherness. And it's about peace and hope. So I hope those blessings find you in your every day for the next week as you get ready for the spirit of Christmas. For those who celebrate Christmas. Or whether it be Hanukkah or New Year's. Whatever you celebrate, I hope your week is full of blessings. 
I gotta remember, it's not just people near me that watch this, or my family, but there's people of all kinds watching. But for me, we're celebrating the preparations of Christmas and the blessings that come about this time of year. And that's what I like to share. <laughs>